Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenny Campbell and I make fashion and beauty videos here on YouTube for the busy mom and the mom who wants to look stylish and chic on a budget. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss any content in the future. Today, I'm gonna do a video that has been requested by you. I've gotten several requests to do this video. And so today I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair and how I get my waves that I usually wear. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. This is what my hair looks like straight out of the shower and I used a blow dryer to blow dry it straight. I don't generally do that and this works even if your hair is kind of wavy already. My hair is kind of wavy so generally it just looks air dried and wavy and that's fine. It still works. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have my mirror over here, I'm going to section my hair uh, I generally do this in about three sections and so I'm going to start right above my ears and I'm going to section it all the way to the back of the head and I'm going to pull it up with a little velvet scrunchie. They don't leave as many marks as using like a normal ponytail holder. So I'm going to put it up with the velvet scrunchie just like that. <laughs> Doesn't have to look gorgeous. And then I take my Garnier Fructis style full control hairspray. There's nothing super special about this hairspray. I just use it because it's like $3 at Walmart and very inexpensive. I'll link it down below. I also, if I really want a good strong hold, I use the red bottle of hairspray called Big Sexy Hair. That is a little bit better hold, but it's also a lot more expensive of a hairspray and so this works great for every day so this is usually what I use so I'm gonna take my hairspray and I'm gonna go all along what's down what's not in the not hugely I don't want it to be too crispy or anything like that I use the cortex curling wand ceramic curling wand this is, this is a small one if I don't use a really big one because I like my waves to be a little bit smaller and also I got this curling wand for free from my sister so I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting it if you already have a curling wand that one will work too now to use a curling wand in case you're not familiar with a curling wand you don't use a curling wand like this you use it like this, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to take a small section of hair. Now, depending on how tight you want your waves or how big you want them, that will depend on how big your section of hair is. So I'm going to take about this size section of hair. My hair is really thin, so this is not a huge section. And I'm going to put the wand behind like this, and I'm going to just wrap the hair around. And I usually count to 10. I usually count to 10 or 15. So I'm going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then let it go. And this is what my hair is going to look like. Now, depending on how hot the curling wand is and how big the section of hair is, that will make a difference. Most of the time I count to 15 just because I like them to be a little bit tighter. They relax a little bit during the day. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. If you'll notice, I'm curling away from my face. That's the, the direction I like my hair to go in. So there we go. That's what my curls are gonna start out looking like. Now all the way around my head, I'm gonna go in the same direction. I'm gonna go all the way around my head doing this exact same thing. Same thing. 
once I have it all curled all the way around, if you'll notice, some of them are tighter than others. That's fine. I like kind of like the way that looks. And the under part is generally a little looser than the top. I feel like I'm saying generally a lot in this video. And so what I'm going to do, obviously I don't want to leave it like this. And the longer I leave it like this, it's the heavier it is. And so the curls will kind of fall out. I don't want it to be too hot still because you want your curls to kind of cool a little bit. I don't brush through my hair with a brush. I brush through with my fingers and I just go through it. And then I take my hairspray, give it another little spritz. And this hairspray is not super crunchy. So I like that about it. And there you go. That is what it looks like at the end. Okay, so that is how I get my waves, how I curl my hair and get my waves. It's super easy and quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.